Thank you very much for coming to our presentation. Today's topic is the preliminary research of Fijian Swallowtail Butterfly, Pavilius Melzi, and is based on our study. Pavilius Melzi, the star in today's presentation, is the only Pavilion Nida butterfly in Fiji Islands and one of the four butterflies known only from Fiji Islands. In 1975, Robinson recorded 44 butterflies from Fiji Islands, including Pavilio Sumeruzi. This butterfly was first described by Herich Schaefer in 1869, but the prototype was lost during the Allied on Dresden in 1945. Herich Schaefer wrote that Pavilio Sumeruzi lives in forest area, just so we budgeted egg with pale yellow, then turn into dark yellow, and just before hatching, it becomes grey. Robinson also describes some other characteristics of Papilio Shimelzi as this picture. Earlier, March in 1885, had described some larva of Papilio Shimelzi, but Robinson did not refer to this work. Matt wrote about the phosphorant of Papilio Shimelzi and identified it not as a lotus aberrant. This was shown later to be a misidentification. Our study focused on Papilio Shimelzi, the only Papilionid butterfly of Fiji, and one of those that have extended their distribution area to most of the eastern region in the South Pacific. We expected that the research on this butterfly would help to understand better the genus Papilio with respect to its biology and origin in South Pacific area and its geological history. We will show these results, but first, we briefly introduce Papilio butterflies in general, that is about the Papilio Nidae worldwide. The current base of Papilio Nidae was established by Mandua, 1961. He recognized some 500 species as Papilio Nidae. The second under wing of the forewing of Papilio Nidae butterflies extends to the wing margin, and does not convert with the first anal vein, and the larvae of Papilio nidae have osmatrium on their back of the head. These two characteristics clearly distinguish them from other butterflies. Mando divided Papilio nidae into three subfamilies, and then the subfamily Papilio nidae into three drivers. He compiled nearly 200 species into genus Papilio of Papilio nini. His work was generally acceptable to most butterfly researchers. But in 2004, Zagorong and his co-worker showed that the genus Papilio of Mando can be divided into two major clusters by their DNA analysis. One cluster contained Papilio Macion, the type of species, Papilio Cussas, Papilio Paris, Papilio Protenol, and Papilio Memnon. The other cluster contained Papilio Toroides and Papilio Glucas in America, Papilio Alexanol in Europe, and a group of Papilio Critia in Southeast Asia. Some of these are already separated from Papilio and treated as independent genus based on larval morphology and its host plant. Although, Zagaroff did not say that this other branch should be independent from genus Papilio, but in such a case, genus name of Pterolus for Papilio Troides is available for electing a separate genus. The reason Zagaroff did not adopt this classification might be that they still have some Papilio species of Mando for DNA analysis has not been done. In this presentation, we use Papilio under this classification. Now we introduce the star of today. In this presentation, if we show two specimens at the same time, the left is male and the right is female. In each specimen, left shows the ventral side of wings. Though not so colorful, but yet attractive butterfly, we think. Now the first question is, how to identify and classify when we see such butterflies for the first time? By appearance, this should belong to Pavilio Ninae, and among them, if this male butterfly does not have an anal fold on its hind wing, it belongs not to Leptosilcini, nor to Roinini, but to Pavilio Nini. Moreover, the wing shape places this butterfly not in genus Pterolus, but genus Papilio. However, the genus Papilio still contains more than 100 species, so how to identify the species and understand the relationships within the genus? 
One of the researchers who tried to resolve this issue is Ai Shigeru A. He made many combinations of interspecific hybridization between mainly Asian papilio species and showed that the genus papilio was separated into subgenera by the final growth stage of the hybridized individuals. Additionally, data on morphological information on Urawa, Pupa, and adults showed that Asian papilio species were separated into five groups represented by Papilio Macaon, Papilio Custas, Papilio Paris, Papilio Polites, and Papilio Memnon. This division corresponds well to the wing coloration of each species and easy to understand. Now, of which group does Papilio Schmelz belong to? Based on hind wing coloration, Papilio Herens and its related species make a candidate. These species, however, do not have a white submarginal line on underside firing that exists on Papilio Schmelzi. From this pattern, now we can also select some of gross Papilio species as candidate, which are closer to Papilio Schmelzi. There is no hybridization data between Papilio Schmelzi and other Papilio species. We try to answer on this point from the forex morphology of Papilio species. In 2006, InnoVTA showed that the female foreleg tarsal shape and distribution of taste sensor of each Papilio species relate both with phylogeny and host plant preference. Now we add the data from Papilio similarity to those of one of the figures shown in InnoVTA. This picture shows that the number of contact chemosensors exists on ventral side of photosis of papillo females. Photosis are separated into five segments. The horizontal axis of graph shows the number of fifth segment chemosensors, and the vertical axis shows those of second, third, and fourth segments. The numerals in graph correspond to the species, for example, one shows papillo macaon, two shows papillo custas. Distribution of neural mites are divided into five clusters, and except nine, that is Papilio Macilentus, the distribution pattern corresponds to that of classification by interspecific hybridization. Papilio Macilentus belongs to Papilio Polites group, however, in this graph, it appears with Papilio Paris group. This might be because most Papilio Polites species females select hardly full tissue plant as their host, in contrast, Papilio Macilentus female flavor softly fruit as a plant as their host, like Papilio Paris group. Now the result of Papilio Schmelz is located in between Papilio Custas and Papilio Paris group, we cannot decide where it belongs exactly. So we decided to observe the life history of Papilio Schmelz in the field. We expected to get data of early stage of Papilio Schmelz that will be useful to do phylogenetic work. Today, we talk about our results obtained until 2010.